the specific energy, minimum specific energy on critical flow condition and open channels. Introduced by Boris Bakhmetev, the concept of specific energy is commonly used in open channel hydraulics, in particular for smooth onshore transitions. By definition, the specific energy, big E, is equal to the total head using the local bed elevation as a datum. The specific energy is similar to the energy per unit mass measured with the channel bottom as a datum. Assuming hydrostatic pressure on uniform velocity distribution, the depth average specific energy can be written as big E equal d cos theta plus v square over 2g with d the water depth, v the velocity, and theta the angle between the channel slope on the horizontal, with cos theta about unity for slope less than 2 to 8 degrees. In the specific energy, the first term relates to the pressure work, and the second term to the kinetic energy. Combining with the continuity equation, the specific energy may be expressed as shown here, with big Q is the water discharge, and A, the channel cross-section area, measured perpendicular to the flow direction. For a given flow rate, on in a prismatic channel, the relationship between the specific energy and water depth has a minimum, recalling that the flow cross-section area is a function of the water depth. The flow condition, depth D, velocity V, cross-section area A, for which the minimum specific energy occurs in a prismatic open channel, are called the critical flow conditions, a fundamental concept in open channel hydraulics. The specific energy is minimum when the derivative of the specific energy with respect to the water depth equal to zero with a constant flow rate. Thus, we can rewrite the critical flow condition as shown in front of us. Considering a natural channel as sketched below, a small increase in water depth, delta D, is associated with a small increase in cross-section area delta A equal in first approximation to B times delta D with B the free surface width. And more generally, for an infinitesimal increase in water depth, the differential of the cross-section area with the water depth will be equal to the free surface width B. Then, we obtain this critical flow condition as cos theta minus Q square over G A cube over B equals zero. The water depth D for which the corresponding cross-section area, big A, on free surface width, big B, fulfills the above condition is called the critical flow depth. Deaths are usually denoted DC, AC, and BC, using the subscript C for the critical flow condition corresponding to minimum specific energy. For the sake of simplicity, let us consider a flat prismatic channel that whereby cos theta equal 1. Then we can simplify the expression of the specific energy on recalling that critical flow condition lead to Q square over equal G times AC cube over BC. We can derive a dimensionless form of the specific energy. After transformation, we obtain as this expression with a unique dimensionless relationship between the dimensionless specific energy and dim dimensionless water depth relationship independent of the discharge. When the water depth is greater than the critical depth, the flow is subcritical or fluvial, it is relatively slow. When the water depth is less than the critical depth, the flow is supercritical or torrential, and the kinetic energy head is important. An example of subcritical flow is the Brisbane River at Oche Crossing on the 28th January 2013 during the Australia's Days floods, looking upstream. Another example, but this time of supercritical flow, is a high velocity down the Paradise Dam steep spillway on the Burnett River, photograph taken on the 5th of March 2013. One note that the minimum specific energy at critical flow condition can be expressed as shown here, and for a flat rectangular channel of width P, this expression can be simplified 
on the critical flow that in a rectangular channel is dc equal cubic root of q square over g b square. For a rectangular channel as well, the minimum specific energy will be equal to 1.5 times dc, and the critical velocity, vc, will be equal to square root of g dc. The specific energy and critical flow conditions are basic concepts commonly used during the application of the Bernoulli principle to smooth and short transitions in open channel flow. This is further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel.